Alright, uh, today we are going to be seeing what normal bullets do to a normal person head. And instead of using your melon, we are using this melon. Uh, this is a Walther G22 Bullpup 22 long rifle. Um, it's a very nice shooting gun actually. And this is going to be 22 long rifle on a melon. Alright, if you can see right here, kind of goes in that side. And it kind of splits it some, goes out near the bottom. There's watermelon juice running down the inside of my sleeve. Um, but yeah, so it kind of hurt it, but not too bad. I'll turn this so you can't quite see it. Next is going to be Beretta 9mm. Well, that took a little bit more of the melon off. Um, if you can see, it's very, <laughs> actually very nice and ripe in there. Um, so if this was your head, you'd probably be missing large chunks of your skull. As you can see, you probably would not live through that. So, would you like a 12 gauge next? Uh, no, next we are going to use a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 uh, 223 assault rifle. All right, Smith and Wesson, <laughs> M&P 15, 223. <laughs> okay, so we had some malfunctions with watermelons not cooperating. So you see the watermelon's kind of busted itself up, and I may or may not have missed the first time from this far away. But it's okay. I've heard these rifles are very inaccurate within three feet, so. Taking a mulligan. All right. There's no way this can go wrong. <laughs> ah, yes. I just had watermelon juice all over me. <laughs> well, the watermelon juice, I've got one more bullet, so we're going to do the other half. <laughs> okay, so what's this last one? This is a Maastricht 500 12 gauge. With birdshot, and birdshot is the smallest, wimpiest 12 gauge cartridge. <laughs> Still pieces. You would definitely not live through that.